So yesterday, September 12, 2020, we uh, were tagging our uh, monarch butterflies and we were using um, uh, some tags and we know that they are going to be going to um, some place in Mexico. They will fly and this is just one spot by which they are stopping by. We uh, hope that uh, it's interesting uh, and uh, we hope you can participate. Anybody who loves nature will definitely, absolutely enjoy what they see here. Uh, so long as you can put up with my sort of Egyptian sense of humor. I hope that's not too much. Thank you and enjoy. That's why I'm afraid of you. Yeah. one. So we put the yeah. date, so yeah, it's 9-12. And then we know our addresses and everything. What's the RW? That's for, um, re, okay, ours are, um, ours. Because, oh. see, ours, we reared ours. None of ours oh, are wild. wild. Oh. And some people go out in fields with the nets and they just tag them. So this is Susan. And here's my wife Diana, no, don't. and uh, we have uh, our monarch butterflies. They have been reared in this by Susan in this cage here, and uh, we are tagging them today and uh, setting them free. They're on their way to Mexico Inshallah, this time of the year, and maybe these don't make it but their offspring carries on. So uh, they have been here, and this is how we're going about it. This is the watch tagging system, the Monarch watch tagging system. And uh, Susan will show us uh, what she does. Um, each butterfly will have its own tag, and it will, will Find out whether it's a male <laughs> or a female. You see how it does. That's how it goes. Okay, so here, Diana, here's your next one. And you see so it how it has 76? Okay, so. Can I, see, can I get closer to the sides? It's just. Where is 76? No, no, it's written in there somewhere. But no, it's written right, right on the tag. See? Yeah. You got it. Okay. So Diana is going to be careful with that tag. Then we're going to grab a monarch. Careful not to hurt it. Careful not to hurt it. We try to escape. And what we want to know first is if it's male or female. So how do we find the male from a female? This, stay still, is a female. How do we know? Um, a male has these two sacks on mm -hmm. the wing, mm -hmm. and the female does not. Now Diana is, see this is kind of a small one. You see that spot oh. right there? Uh-huh. You're going to put it right there. Uh-huh. <clears throat> okay. I can't. No, go ahead. Mm. Uh-huh. Roll it off. Woo! Sorry. That's yeah. our first Some one. people are more agile than yeah. others. Well, it's our first time. First time I've done it. Okay. I love Diana. <laughs> <laughs> it's our first time doing it. And so these are not as big as some of them. You see, I was going to do the big ones first. Was this is a female as well. So we hold it for five seconds. Five seconds. And then we release this, put it on my hand, and we hope it does what it's supposed to do. Okay, it will fly from there. It's just getting its... So it just got hold over here. There it goes. There it goes. Hooray, you're done. And it will be leaving here. Here it is. She is 
just sitting on some of my uh, beehive strains here. Sorry for the mess, but uh, she's on her way. Okay, south is this way, butterfly. <laughs> and you'll be fine. And here's another one. Oh, you just did one though, huh? All right. I messed that one up. Well, it doesn't matter. They're just tags. I pulled part of its wing. Yeah, stuff. but the wing's fine. Okay. It's blue. <laughs> they're just so sticky. So this is how we pull. Okay, so we're just going to do a tiny bit. Okay. Okay, so that one we didn't have to mark. Okay, I'm going to try to get that one. It's really big. Okay. Now you take between your thumb, poor finger. Oh. Diana, can you close it for me, please? Okay, now I'm going to just peek. And it's a female. Whoa! That's what we don't want. So we don't want to hurt their wings. Okay. There's our spot. There it is. Is there a certain spot? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, Perfect. Oops. Perfect. It Oops. looks like a little mitten. A little mitten. Mitten. So now we hold it for our five seconds. So this was another female. Yeah. It's three females. Four females, right? We've only had females. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good one we have to write down. It was yeah, another female. Yeah. So that way we skip the number. Good. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Where's our stick? Uh, in my hands. Okay, so yeah. we just want to take a little bit okay. of it like we did last time. You did it perfectly. Right. Well, you got it on the stick. Well, when I was at the botanical gardens, they had it all so professional, you know, which I brought them a whole slew of ones to release. But this year they're not doing that. There's one up here. Yeah. I'm looking for a nice big one. Well, that's that's a nice big one. Them all, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, but we're not tagging them all. Oh. Because we only have 50 tags and they're going to be released all through the month. So we're going to be doing this over and over again. So you wait until they grow a little more? No, I have more caterpillars that are changing. Oh, I see. So we need to zip this yeah, up? Yeah. yeah. Diana and I are still getting, <laughs> there are still babies around. Yeah. So whatever you release will be tagged. Hmm? Yeah, these will, not no, not all no. of them. We're going to release like most of them. But it's a female again. again. We're releasing everybody. Yeah. Everybody, but, but not everybody's going to be tagged. tagged. Ooh, almost. You have to roll it, Diana, unroll yeah. it. There, she did it perfectly. Yeah. Okay, now we hold it. Five seconds. Mm-hmm. So it's another female. No boys today. Well, we all have boys. <laughs> okay, Diana, you want to put it on your hand? All right. She's going to release it. The back of her hand or her? There she is. Mm -hmm. Watch out. Yeah. I was afraid they'll go I was afraid of us nervous. Yeah, but they pretty cool. Yeah, but they don't all right, uh, this one is heading straight up. Yeah, but it, it, see, if you just give me milkweed and tiny caterpillars, they never really mean anything to you. But when you do this, mm -hmm. it's like you go, the whole evolution means so much more, doesn't it? Yeah, it is true. Yeah, yeah, it's and that way, when we do it every year, it's fun because we have a goal. Next year, I'll get 100 of them. Okay, yeah. Because we could do 100, because sure. I still have still quite a few. You got your work cut out for you, honey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's fun. Uh -huh. Oh, you oh, yeah. need to videotape the whole thing. If you could take some pictures, that would be good. Just okay, so. The videos end up too long. Yeah, so now, here we go. Next one. 
So now we're going to, this one is age zero. So they say to do this. What I did also, Diana, I checked it on um, YouTube <laughs> and looked to see if there were any better ways of learning. I'm just putting a tiny, tiny bit on there. See how loose that one is? Okay, let me see which one we want. Oh, it's, there's no doubt. That one is a nice one. This one's a nice one too right here. You can see, you see right there where you can see that little mitten piece? Is that another? Or is that yeah, so here we go. It looks like a mitten. Uh-huh. I see. No, I mean, it's not. They're so delicate. Okay, you want to sit back, please? Okay, let's see what you are. Come on. It's a male. Oh, good. Can you point no. out where? Yeah, I can't. Give, well, give it no, it's not. It's another female. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's got no females. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does it have to do with their diet or something? That no, is, uh, it's just the genetics. Okay, perfect. Okay. There we go. Can, can I put that in my hand? After, yeah, since yeah. we got the five, five seconds. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Four five. <laughs> here you go. Just get away from the pool. So here we are. Whoopsie. Right across the pool. <laughs> okay. Off it went. Okay, but that was number 80. Okay, I'm looking for a male. Let's try this one. It's another female. I always get males. Can you get the zipper? I'm just trying to get a sticker off, sorry. Okay, so when you do the sticker, Diane, yeah. just do the very, very tip right there. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. There. Okay. Now pull it off. Okay. There. All right. So, we clip the whole, all the things. Do you see where it is? Mm -hmm. See the mitten part here? Yeah. Right there, like the hands. Mm -hmm. right, that was all perfect. And oh. five seconds. Okay, you want to do this one again? Yes. I'm getting uh -huh. used to it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, baby. Keep it away from the wall. No, no. It'll come back up. Where is it? It's right here. Oh. It'll go back up and it'll fly. There's, there should be nothing wrong with them. Let's just hope there's nothing wrong. Sometimes they're really bad. You know, I get um, a, a parrot I call the leaf, oh. and they come out of all the forms. Oh. Yeah, and then I have to euthanize them. Should I help it? I do it the cheapy way of euthanizing them. Mm -hmm. okay. Here, let's up again. So, here we go. The pool. Sorry, sorry. Yes. I'll get it. I'll get it. Yeah. I'll get it. Not nice. <laughs> It's a male. Me. It's a male. You see that line right there? I'll show you. It has like two little sacks in the back? Yes. It's a male. No wonder it's so difficult. Yeah. It's a male, Diana. That's why it's difficult. Oh, he's, he's. That was a male? Yeah. Back in the pool. You it's have, a death wish. You have embarrassed all boys <laughs> today. Take him down there and let him go. Yeah, yeah. Put him on something like this, and then he'll fly down. Okay. Okay. I know. He's okay. having trouble. Yeah, he's wet too. So the best thing to do is like put him here. He uh, doesn't want to. Stay there. I know. Maybe instinctively 
She doesn't want to get eaten by a bird or something. Oh, she should. I don't know. We've done well so far. Boys are difficult. Okay, but he needs to just climb up on something. And then he'll dry off and be fine. No, I think he'll just climb by himself. See? And then we'll check him in about 10 minutes. And I okay. think he'll be gone. Because they go on to plants and then they just kind of practice the flying. Because he's just drying his wings, I think. Mm. Come on, buddy. We're rooting for you. I'm still following him. Hmm? I don't know, he wants to fly. <laughs> no, Susan, he's not flying. <laughs> yeah, that one really. But you know, they may just breed in your yard like I know. <laughs> I know. Like all the food right here. <laughs> yeah, she does. Because I have four different kinds of milkweed, and I ran out what, about a month ago. And she has really done all this stuff. <laughs> you need so much milkweed, it's just incredible. What we need is for everyone in the neighborhood to plant them. Because when they just a couple of them, no matter. again he's not flying I don't know what his deal is okay that's the same old boy and, uh, he is definitely the only one <laughs> that is not flying. Yeah, that was the male. Is this yours? That same one? That's the same one, yeah. Okay, this is what I would do with it. Okay, so we take it like this. 
and then I put it on something that is a, a food. Yeah. So this is a food, yeah. right? I think so, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. why aren't you saying? He's not, sir. Uh, well, he might not be a viable one. Let's see. Maybe. Where'd he go? Mm -hmm. Oh, if he can fly that far, he'll yeah. fly. Yeah. He just wants so his time. The yeah, but sometimes they take an hour or two yeah. before they fly. Oh, that much, huh? Yeah, because they're just not ready. So here he is if you don't. That's the same guy. It's been about five minutes. And uh, I guess he's a procrastinator. Okay. So the tag, I guess, and, and get paid for it. And then they mark it down, and then we. I'll make a copy of this. You see, I'll photocopy it. And then we can track it independently to see if any of them make it all the way to Mexico. And that's why we're going to do a few every week, because we don't know which group. Right. And then next year we'll get 100. Then we can track it and do all of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so now we're yes, going to get the marks. What uh, Susan was just saying is that uh, these butterflies, they're tagged. And then uh, they pay people $5 for every tagged butterfly they report. This way they are having a vested interest in keeping the forest wherever these butterflies go to. They are going to go to a very specific, very limited acreage area in Mexico. And uh, doing so by paying them for t reporting the tagged butterflies simply shows that um, they have some incentive to hold on to keeping this forest and uh, giving them something to earn a living off of. And that's a charity. We would hope that everybody would uh, be willing to participate in uh, and allowing to happen. All right, for now, next thing we're gonna do is go look for some milkweed. And uh, this is where the uh, monarch butterflies lay their eggs and they feed on them. And I will be showing you uh, how their eggs look like and small larvae and uh, how uh, volunteers like Susan take them and uh, here's your butterfly and, uh, here's your caterpillar yeah so here is a caterpillar we just got out this is, this just, is do you have an egg on this no okay. no that's so we're leaving eggs that's food yeah okay so, so this is them. the milkweed um, and that's the milkweed oh, this is a and that's the food no. That uh, monarch so butterflies prefer the most. A a they lay eggs on but them. We don't want to decimate the plants. And uh, I got an egg here. Yeah, if they are eggs, I leave them. Yeah. And then they'll so they'll where do is it. The egg? Well, I'm see? asking if that's if it's a little white dot little or orangey. If, if no, it's an no. Like no. That's an aphid. Oh. Yeah. So there's yeah, a monarch flying around right there. Yeah. Oh, no, that one's going to breed. <laughs> I mean, that one's going to lay eggs. Going to lay eggs. So that's a monarch butterfly. That's a nail. It's not laying eggs. <laughs> okay. So, well, maybe he's just yeah, looking. Yeah, we, we can find one. Maybe he's oh, looking no, for a female to. Uh, one that we tagged today? I don't know. You'll see. You see a tag on it. You see a tag on it? I didn't look, really. I don't, I don't see any. No, it's out there on yeah, a... Yeah, because that one's going to come in and cause havoc. You see one? Two caterpillars. Two different sizes. So here is a caterpillar. Right here. And there's another one right next to it. Okay. So if they're that small, do you I don't know if she's going to take it. She's probably going to take it. She's uh, checking yeah. some damn like, yeah. bugs that oh, yeah. hang around because there. Because your mother has such wonderful plants. <laughs> this is why I don't like those. <laughs> it's a 
so there you go. There's two. Oh yeah, we have to take those. So that size of caterpillar? Yeah, one. those are harder, but yeah, we have to separate them. So I separate them into babies and mediums and large. And so and then we have to take something to feed them because they will go through that in no time at all. So, so the problem is, is to find enough food that's going to last us for the next month. Did you find more? Yeah, well, the oh, whole leaf came off. Perfect. <laughs> See, he's almost ready for crystallis. Yeah. Yep. Crystallis is the next phase from larva. And they make the most beautiful crystallis. It looks like, like jade with a, a gold band. Oh, wow. I mean, truly beautiful. All right. It looks like jewelry. I'll show you. You found it, Diane. Hmm? What? You found it. Found what? And if you move it one more, Clark, you can see a video. Here it is, they're breeding. So that's the mating. Yep. Of two monarchs. Late right? in the season. The royal mating. Ha ha ha. And that's why we want to keep no them pun intended. Ha. <laughs> here is a monarch. Took a nectar off of a cosmos. <laughs> 